China has just announced the completion and launch of the Beidou 3 navigation satellite system. But how can we use it? CGTN recently posted a video showing the differences between China's Beidou system and other global navigation satellite systems. And I received some questions about how to actually use Beidou for navigation. So in this video, I'll explain how the system works on your phone. Before we get started, let me clear up a common misconception. A lot of people think if you want to use the Beidou system, you need to download some sort of Beidou apps. Wrong! The truth is, you don't need to download any new app for using the system. Regular navigation apps, delivery apps, or car hailing apps, they are all able to use the positioning service of the Beidou system. Civil equipment, like our phones, cannot choose which navigation satellite system to use. It will automatically pick the system that has best signal at that time. So maybe you are using the Beidou system right now. But not every smartphone supports Beidou. Currently, most of the Android phones can use the Beidou system. But if you are an iPhone user, you are not able to use it because chips carried by the Apple product line do not support the system. Let's look at some models of a few big brands. We can see that Huawei and Samsung have Beidou listed, but iPhone doesn't. Another way to find out whether your phone supports Beidou is through GPS testing apps. Your phone can use the Beidou services if the app can detect Beidou satellites. For example, the stars represent Beidou satellites. Right now, I have about 10 Beidou satellites within my range. There are also people asking whether Beidou can be used outside of China. Well, just like we can use GPS services in China, you can use Beidou outside of China. The difference is that Beidou provides better accuracy in China and the Asia-Pacific region at 5 meters because of its unique layout. The accuracy in other areas is about 10 meters. Now you know how to use the Beidou system on your phone. Please stay tuned to CGTN, we'll bring you more about China's tech and science.